In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, transform rows into columns. Um, so let's say you have a set of data like this and you want to uh, bring up uh, these two uh, into the first row. So these are each of these data are a pair. So one and two are a pair, three and four are a pair. Uh, so uh, if your goal is to bring up these data in front of the, the, the corresponding uh, data, uh, then what you need to do is go to add column, a conditional column. So in here, you're trying to look for a pattern. So let's call it, let's call it custom. So uh, in here you go if, if the stop column equals to a high park loop, you want to output all the values for that column. Otherwise, you want it to be empty. So if you press OK, okay that didn't work. Okay, so as you can see, for all the values of High Park, now you have the corresponding uh, value in that custom column, and all the other um, values for that column are empty. Now, what you want to do is you want to do the same thing for the time column. So now since so you already have the custom, you can either choose the stop column again or you can use the custom column. So let's say if you want to use the custom column, then you what you want to output is the time. So for the custom column, if, if the value equals hyperc loop, you want the time to be outputted in a separate column. Otherwise, you want it to be empty. Press OK, and as you can see now, you have the time and the stop for that um, specific uh, value. So now, what you want to do is you want to save this and then come in here and duplicate this. Now, once you have the duplicate, you want to select these two columns and remove all the other columns. Go to remove columns. Now, you want to remove rows. So you want to remove one one row from the top row so that in and the other, let me show you guys what I mean. So in here, your end goal is to bring these values up one. If, if all the values in this column and in this column goes up one row, it will go to its corresponding uh, value. So if you go back to that query that created this one, uh, you want to remove one row from the top. So you want to remove one row. Now you save this one, or actually, so your ultimate goal is to merge these two. So in order to merge two queries, you need to have one column in common. So you want to add an index column in here and you save it. And then you go to your original query and you add a an index column. Now what you want to do is you want to delete these two rows and then um, you want to merge the other query that you had with two columns. So, so this is the current one and you want this one. And what you wanna do is you wanna select these two index columns and then just leave it as, there are different ways that you can merge queries, but this one will work. Now in here, select this button 
and then deselect this and the index column. And you press OK. Since we don't need the index column, you can remove it. Now, as you can see, all like if you can see here, high park loop at 644 has gone up in front of Howard Park Avenue at Indian Road, which was its corresponding uh, value. It's like we said before, these two are a couple, and so are these two, and so on. So now you might ask, how are we going to get rid of these high park values since they're since we already have them over here? What you want to do is you want to go to the custom and you want to select null, you want to deselect null, and you press OK. And there you have it. Now we have Howard Park at its time and High Park with its time for all the values. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.